Hannah Bueller has been looking into this story for us. Emergency crews tell her all they needed was a clear path. They could have really saved her life if the fire trucks could have got down here sooner. Fire trucks and first responders blocked while heading to an emergency. That's what Buffalo fire officials say happened early Sunday morning on Laurel. So we couldn't pass through that intersection uh, to get to the scene. Buffalo Fire Commissioner Bill Ronaldo says firefighters were on the way to a call of a car into a house. It was about 4 a.m. Sunday morning. They say a big block party was going on at Laurel and Purdy, and cars were parked on both sides of the street. Eventually, somebody did move the vehicle. Ronaldo says what happened next was disappointing. During that time frame, while they were stopped, uh, people from the crowd, some people from the crowd were pelting the uh, apparatus with. Uh, beer bottles, cans, things of that nature. People throwing things at Buffalo firefighters on their way to an emergency. It took fire officials an extra three minutes to get down the street. You, you have to give the firemen respect. I mean, they're here to protect us. This is the accident scene that Buffalo fire officials tell me they were trying to get to when they were blocked just a couple of blocks down here on Laurel. They say when they arrived, there were multiple people in the area trying to extract this woman from her trapped vehicle. The female driver of the car was pronounced dead at the scene. This memorial now sits where that accident happened. Fire officials say members of the crowd were so upset they climbed on top of the fire rigs. Some of our members actually uh, climbed up there with them and, and talked them back down. This entire situation is very disturbing to people who live in the area. Many wonder if those two to three extra minutes could have been the difference between life and death. That was just horrible. I mean, that was a life that was taken and it could have been prevented had the cars not been parked on both sides of the streets. In Buffalo, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.